hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we added the fire charge and we make our rifle automatic now in this video we will add the animation to our player and basically to our rifle okay so whenever we shoot we want to play the shooting animation and as you know in the previous videos we have created and set up all of the animator for the player as you can see we have a pool parameter right here for the fire for the aiming and for the fire walk and also we have for the reloading but that reloading thing will be a future thing to do for now let's focus on adding the animation for the fire so as you can see we have make all of the transitions when we are in the idle and when we press the fire button let me move this right here as you can see he will shoot like this and if you are walking and shooting then this animation will be played so let's open up the rifle script and right here we have this if condition for shooting so right here when we press the fire button we want to shoot but first of all we need a reference to our animator for that right here we will say public animator and let's name this as animator as well now save this get back to unity and if we now click on the clear then click on this Tommy and Mesh. Now we need to provide the animator there. So we can lock this inspector from here and then click on this dots and add a new inspector. Okay, let's drag and drop this inspector right here. Now if we click on the player, as you can see, we have the animator right here. So we can just drag and drop that in there. Now save this. Let me close this tab and now unlock that one and if we click on this as you can see our animator is applied okay and if we play the game it will be still applied to this animator as you can see now so let me close this game again get back to the script now we have the reference to the animator now we will simply type animator dot set pool and let's set the fire okay the fire parameter to true and then we will set the idle false so for that we will say set pool and set the idle to false and as you can see this is just for the firing okay so when we press the fire one button we will simply set this fire to true and idle to false okay and let me save this get back to unity and now if we play the game and you will notice we can still walk we can jump we can sprint okay the sprinting is a little bit messed up because of the firing thing okay but don't worry we will solve that and now as you can see when we press the fire one button we can shoot but our muzzle flash is showing somewhere else so we need to fix that and as you can see it is playing this again and again because we didn't add the else block for this so right here we will say else and we will type animator dot set pool we will set the fire now to false and we will say animator dot set pool and let's set the idle to true now quickly save this and if you get back now enough for sure this will work correctly now as you can see we are in the idle we can run as well now as you can see our running is in setback again 
as you can see he can run he can walk he can also jump and now if we click the fire button as you can see he is playing the fire animation and the reason he stopped playing the fire animation is because that's the time when we need to reload our weapon at that time he stopped firing and this is because we added the fire charge okay if you remove the fire charge then he will just simply shoot infinity okay so now our animations are working correctly and guys let's just fix the muzzle flash first so for that what we will do we will just select this muzzle flash from here and as you can see it shows the muzzle flash right there but whenever we play the game let me show you okay let change back to the scene view and you will notice whoops let me remove that okay let's bring this game tag right here now you will notice when we shoot our muzzle flash just disappear it just come to the right side guys let me tell you the one thing that we can do with this because it will be really hard for you guys as well so what we can do go inside the animation let's create another animator controller let's name this as testing okay let's open this up and right here we will just simply add a aiming okay we will wait right here we will just add this animation here only okay now if we click on the player Here is the animator. Let me name the testing animator right here. Now, if we play the game, as you will notice now, he is already inside the shooting. Okay, so what we will do now, I have still the game window on the other screen. We will click on this muzzle flash. Okay, we can play it from there now. Okay, so now we can just set this quickly in front of the gun. Okay, so once you have the muzzle spark or you can say muzzle flash completed, then don't close the game, guys. Let me tell you, don't close the game. First, copy the component, okay, the transform of this muzzle spark, and then close the game. Now, as you can see, it will use changes back to its default, okay. So now we need to just paste component values, and as you can see, it moves right there now what we can do now is click on this player again and add the player controller animator again now if we play the game now if we try to shoot as you can see let me show you the game window okay here is the game window now if we try to shoot as you can see it shows the muzzle flash in front of the rifle as you can see 
Let me close the game. Now we have the muzzle flash added. Let me make this muzzle flash a little bit bigger. Let's make the start size 0.5 and let's check it out. Okay, it is too big now. Let's just make it 0.2 then. And now if you shoot as you can see it looks good like this. Let me just move this muzzle flash a little bit to the to that side okay and now it looks good like this. Okay as you can see. So with our muzzle flash add see you guys in the next video.